Hey fifth grade artist, last art lesson we created cake by Wayne Tebow in his contemporary style of art using different pops of color and analogous colors. They turned out wonderful. This week we're going to switch gears. We're actually going to be talking about something that's probably pretty relevant to you. It's about photography. So we can think about photography with old style cameras like this. We can also think of it with these new fun cameras like this. We can also think about it as the camera located right here on our phones. So we're gonna take the world of drawing, the world of photography, mash them together to make this awesome project that I know you're gonna be super pumped. So get your cameras ready and that nice pencil. Let's get started. So what we're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pencil to sketch, and either one of these. So you're gonna either need a black pen if you don't have a thin Sharpie, I have some special artist loft illustration pens that I'm gonna be using for this project, but like I said, a black pen or a nice thin Sharpie is gonna work just fine. We're also going to need some device to take a picture. So you can either use your phone, you can use uh, your iPad, maybe if you actually have a camera and you wanna take some photos on your camera, you totally can, but we're gonna need something to document our photo. The first thing we want to do is we're going to divide our paper into fourths. So that means that we're going to fold it in half this way. And then fold it in half the other way. Now that my paper is divided into fourths, I'm going to focus on my subject, which is actually going to be my hand. We're going to take our hands and our drawings to create a photograph that marries the two or intertwines both worlds. Any example that I do in my video, we are not allowed to use because then that's taking Miss Rubellis's beautiful ideas and trying to pass them as your own. You can get inspired by it, but I wanna see different drawings for this. I'm gonna think about an interesting position for my hand to be in. And then I'm going to draw a picture that incorporates my hand inside of the drawing. So I know it's a little funny to try and understand, but you're gonna see what I mean right now. So when I mean an interactive drawing, I mean that your drawing doesn't have to be too complicated. It just has to work with your hand. So if we look, I'm starting to draw a man that looks like they're fishing on my thumb. So my thumb is acting as the ledge for my man to sit on. So now I have a nice simple sketch. I like what I drew. I'm either going to take a pen or a sharpie to go over my line work. now that I have my little drawing, I can take my photo. So I want to take my device, whatever I'm going to be using, either my phone, my iPad, and I'm going to click on camera. I'm going to place my, my hand, whatever part is being used for the picture, and I'm going to go over it like so and just get the square that I'm using. Now once I've taken my picture, I want to go and edit it, and I'm going to turn it into black and white. I have a nice, interesting, and funny looking picture where I use my hand and my drawing to make something interactive, right? You can choose four different types of drawings that you want to do. I'm going to show you another example of one.
so now that I've drawn my little zombie with his mouth open, I'm gonna go over my lines. So now that my zombie's outlined, I'm ready to add my finger into this drawing. Remember, I'm gonna grab my device, place my finger where I want it, go to the camera, and I'm going to take a picture of just that square. After you've taken your photo, remember to edit it. So you click edit at the bottom, you go to where the three circles are. You go all the way to the end where it says nor, and you can pick which type of gray tones you like. Hit done. And there you got another black and white picture where, you're, where it's interactive, where your finger's involved, the drawing's involved. These are gonna be so cool and creative. I can't wait to see the wonderful things that you decide to do with this project. So keep in mind, you're going to need four different drawings. They don't all have to be the same concept. You can have different concepts, but make sure to incorporate your hand some way. Maybe you want them doing something else on your hand. Maybe you're pulling something. I want you to think about all the different ways that you can be super creative with this project using your drawings, your hand, and some piece of technology to take the photo. That's all for this art lesson. I can't wait to see your beautiful interactive drawings. Have a wonderful rest of your day and happy creating fifth grade.